Well, I'm doing a Windows installation today. I've done this so many times, it's like second nature, but uh, I thought I might record it. To, maybe it might help somebody someday. Uh, I'm also going to do it with my trusty old uh, PNY attache 8 gigabyte flash drive. Um, I've modified this drive, this uh, these Windows files on this drive, so I can uh, go ahead and install any uh, version of Windows that I want to. So uh, I guess I'll just get right after it. Go ahead and insert, insert it. Close that out. Now this has already got an installation on it, but it's ultimate. And I, I need to change it to uh, home premium. So we'll press restart here. And on a lot of motherboards, on most motherboards, you're going to have a a boot menu. On this one, if you press F12, this is a gigabyte. Uh, P45 board. If you press F12 during post, it'll give you this screen, the boot menu. And what it'll do is allow you to boot from wherever you want once this, this time. So, as you can see, there's my USB drive right there. So just press enter and it'll boot from that. And there we go. And it's coming from a flash drive so it uh, loads those files a hell of a lot faster than a CD, I'll tell you that. I, it's a good way of uh, installing Windows. So here we are already, almost at the point where we, uh, yeah, it's almost ready. So I guess I'll just keep this going. And there we are. So, I choose install now. And there's the screen that you don't see on uh, OEM versions of Windows anymore, Windows 7. So I'll choose the version I want. Format it. I don't think you need to format it. But there we go. That's uh, almost an entire Windows installation. I'll uh, let this run through and then come back, finish it out. Be right back. Okay, so it's restarted. It's uh, expanded the files. Um, the drive is still plugged in which I should, I can pull it out. It's it's done with the drive. It's got all the inf, inf, install files on the hard drive in the computer now. So, in fact, maybe I will just uh, for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and just pull it out right now. So, the drive is out. So, you're fine to pull the drive out uh, when you're as soon as it uh, expands all the files onto the hard drive. So now it's just uh, 
restarted once and it's in the completing installation and by the way that uh, that process right there it only took about oh, between five and ten minutes it doesn't take nearly as long as a installation DVD so I'll come right back uh, as soon as this completing installation uh, finishes up it takes about the longest okay, it's restarting again so I'm just going to take you through the steps through all the steps again the drive that I use to install Windows is, is not in it's still sitting right here and it's restarting I believe for the last time if I remember right Um, maybe I started this too early, but I think we'll be all right here. Preparing your computer for first use, and then it'll check your uh, video performance. Yep, checking video performance, and I've got a mid-range card in here. Nothing special. Um, whatever you have in it'll check it'll check to make sure and there you are so you can type in whatever name you want enter a password or not enter your product key or not and you on this uh, on this screen you really should uh, use recommended settings but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to ask me later uh, set your uh, time and date settings your network settings and here in a second if you have any other uh, Windows 7 computers with the home group set up you can connect to it at this point or you can skip either way and you can choose what you want to share on the home group and if you already have a home group set up on the, your other computer on the network it will uh, connect to it right here if you have the password so that's all there is to it that's that's a Windows installation a clean install of Windows 7. So we'll just let it get to the desktop here real quick. Hopefully I'm not going over time, not boring anybody too bad, but just wanted to kind of show everybody what's exactly involved when installing Windows. There we are, the completed installation. So you just uh, the first thing you might want to do is go to personalize and you know choose whatever you need to do, whatever you need to do here. Maybe go to the power options and set your monitor to uh, turn off or on. You know when you want it to what just uh, do what you need to do with the with your computer and set it up how you like it. So. Anyway, that's about it. You guys have a great day.